Hello and welcome back to our video tutorial and this is Elite Geospatial. We have been on training on how to use ArcGIS Pro and then so far we've been covering uh, different topics in ArcGIS Pro and we are still on digitizing. So today we'll be digitizing road. We created a road from the day one. So today we'll be learning how to digitize road. All right, so we have our road layers here categorized as expressway, major road, minor road, and footpath. Okay, this is FCT, the Federal Capital Territory of the Great Nigeria Country. <laughs> All right, so um, here I'm just going to show you basics. So that's why I am standing on this kind of Place. So there are a few rules to digitizing road. So let first let's go to our edit and uh we're going to pick up our create future tools, right? And uh we're going to pick express way. So I'm not going to digitize the entire express way, but then it depends on your choice whether you want this road to be a double lane road or not. If you want it to be a double lane road that is on your digitizing to represent as a, the way it is on ground. So that means you have to follow the center of this one, then you come back and follow the center of this one. All right, so let's start from here. Um, so you'll be careful to create a node along the center. So majorly why I digitize, I don't move at speed. So I go gently so that I don't have to come repeat it again. But then if you zoom it well, you know we are not using an external satellite imagery. So we're using the one that is on ArcGIS Pro. You can actually bring in yours and use. All right, so you can use yours and you can use the one that has been provided. Okay, so let's end this one here. Then we pick this one. Now let's make it to go on the same direction by coming back to here and digitize. The reason is I just want them to have the same flow of direction okay so another reason i'll advise you use your satellite image because of these things you see you have to zoom up zoom down depending on the um depending on your your speed internet speed okay so all right so you see it's just blocking things so that's why most you just have to just bring your satellite imagery and use all right so i'm just going to follow this Now, I am not saying the road has ended. No, I'm only ending it because I'm only showing you how to do that. All right, so now next, let's come down here and do the same here, but then I'll explain. So let's start from here. Now here, for me to know that this route is a flyover because the route is over. Now for me to tell the uh, machine that this 
road is not just the same road it's a flyover so since it's a flyover i won't be creating a knot here but if it is not you have to create a knot before passing now for it to know that it is not a flyover you not create a knot you just pass So let's end it here. Let's go back. Let's start. You see, I'm not also creating a knot here. Okay, let's take it slow. I want to explain this so that you understand. You can read up on all of this, but then I'm just showing you the practical example. So I'm not still going to create a node between this one that goes like this. So you see it's asking me to do that. But I'm not going to do that. I will just pass. Now that on analysis, when it when maybe you're using network analysis and the rest, it's going to let the ArcGIS know that um yeah, you are not that it's a flyover, there is a route over it. So let's say I'm going to digitize from here to that side. I will also not create a node because there is another route there. Okay, so now the next rule. Let's find a place where we could exercise that other rule. Now let's say I'm digitizing this route. It's a double lane road, but I'm only going to decide it once. Now this is a junction, right? I have ended it. Now while I am digitizing this one, coming down, I have to create a note with this before I continue. So that's the reason that's the, the to do this bestly, you have to discharge this one first before you bring this one to come and create a node with. So you have to sort out uh, the way I normally do my is I sort out all the major roads. I study the area and understand where all the major road path. Then I digitize all the major road. Then I now come to the minor root. So when I'm coming to the minor root, like I only add them like now, I'll create a node from here, then digitize this. Now all root must have a node. So joining them together, So this one goes back on the main road, but I'm not going to take it here because that thing that uh this thing is blocking. My view so continuously that's how you will join all the road like this one now start from here and just follow suit that's why you need your snapping tool to be on then I can go from here because I've created a node can go from here and you can right click in case there's a mistake and you delete vertex okay so i will just take it like this same thing here yeah but this time around i'm taking this one down they're supposed to meet so i 
Okay, it's asking for Vitex. Good. Okay, so now, okay, I've you know I've just joined all of them together, just trying to demonstrate. Okay, so now when you want to digitize other parts of the road, you just pick from here. Just pick. Anyone you pick will start allow you to digitize. So I've only made mistake and put everything inside expressway because I was just trying to illustrate how you can digitize at the same time also illustrate uh, those little little details you need to add to it. So you try to snap on the spot of the road so that you don't um, have to come and make adjustment creating a topology uh, I did this, I did that. So you just have to make sure you zoom it to where your eye can see well. That's why it's preferable, I say again, you bring in your satellite imagery. So if you zoom it in like this, you should be able to follow the center of this road gradually. Gradually. And digitize. So you are going to have what you want at the end of the day. So you just follow it gradually gradually okay so basically you can practice this consistently as possible until you're good so this is the little i'm going to share about digitizing the road so you just have to know these few rules all road must the notes must be created road that like okay i'm going to use an example for I'm in Zaria right now. So we have Sokoto Road. Now the road leading from um PZ down to Sokoto, Katina, Sokoto and the rest. Now it's a one way road. We have other sub road joining to it, like the one going to Graceland, the one going to uh, uh the one going coming from Kaduna to Kano is an overhead. That's a flyover just like I have demonstrated here. Okay, so this you must not create a node between them. It shows that this there is a road underground and there is a road over. That's what this implies. Now, when treating the underground road or underpass, all road that joins those underpart like this one coming from here to here, you must create a node. So I'm going to create a node. Now, this one has three ways, so we have to digitize the third one for us to be able to add the underpass. So, uh, I end it here. Now, for me to create this one, I have to create the node because they are all underpass. So, I have to create a node before taking it that side. And. This one is two ways, so I have to create the join them together. So this is what I mean by creating a node. Make sure the from this end to this end are joined. You have to connect them. It has to be connected. That's what I mean. So uh, same thing if you're doing here. This to this must be connected. This to this must be connected. Okay, so this is just a little tips I intend to share on this very um, tutorial so i hope you've learned something and uh, i will see you in the next video where we will be exploring how to digitize the river on arcgis pro stay tuned and don't go anywhere